Hello everybody, I just finished teaching, which I feel like I say half the time now, but I wanted to film this video because I've been getting a lot of comments on how do I program my own workouts, how do I incorporate planes of motion, how do I incorporate functional training into my workouts. So I wanted to give you guys a little example of a way where you can make your own workout program for when you're at home during quarantine. So keep in mind, these are just my tips, you know, obviously getting a personalized recommendation from your own personal personal trainer is always the best thing. But I believe that these are also some really basic tips to help you design your own program. So with that, let's jump in. So I'm gonna take you through five very simple steps to create your own program. And your first step is asking yourself, what are your goals? Now these can be physical, mental, performance-based, literally whatever you want to accomplish. I really suggest that you only pick two or three because any more than that, you are gonna really like overload your system. And remember, if we are creating a functional workout, then a lot of your movements are gonna be compound movements anyway. So you'll be able to hit a lot of different muscle groups with very few exercises. So let's just take myself in general. So I've actually set a goal for myself this month with my programming that I want to build my glutes, I want to get more core stability, and and I want to do a pull up. My second step is going to get very specific with those goals that I set out and I'm going to ask myself how do I achieve those goals or what do I need to do to get to those goals. So number one is build my glute strength. Well, I know that I am very quad dominant, so I have a hard time even activating my glutes. So I know that I wanna do a lot of glute activation. So incorporating clamshells for my glute knee, bridges for the glute max, things like that, using a band to really make sure that I'm getting into the posterior kinetic chain. And then besides that, doing like big compound functional movements, squats, lunges, deadlifts, that whole kind of thing. And you really wanna keep it very basic with this first step, just like brainstorming ideas, maybe what exercises, maybe functionally what you need to do. My second one was building more core stability. So just so you guys know where I'm coming with this, I do a lot of dancing. So my body is moving in ways that it like really should not be moving. So I want to um, build my core strength in two different ways. I want to work a lot of anti-rotation. So those are exercises where you are keeping your hips in one place and working against whatever force you have wanting to move yourself side to side. And then I do want to make sure that I am training myself working in that transverse plane as well because so much of what I'm doing is is working twisting in that transverse plane. So if I'm never training that, then my body's not gonna know how to prevent injury against that type of movement. And then my last one is very specific. I wanna do a pull up. I know specifically that my lats are not very strong. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing exercises that strengthen my lats. Now you're gonna ask yourself how much? How much of each exercise do I do? How many exercises do I do? I'm gonna tell you right now, keep it simple. Like five to six exercises. You don't need to be committed to those specific exercises. How however many days a week that you're working out for an entire month or two. You can totally change it up, but within each workout, I just want you to pick five to six exercises. You can change it up here and there, but you do wanna make sure that your body has a chance to get good at something. That's the whole point of this, to get your body more efficient at these functional movements. I don't recommend picking any more than like 10 to 12 total that you'll be doing throughout this specific program. Personally, I just like to do all five or six exercises in a row, take a quick one minute break, and then go back to the top Top, repeat it, break, top, repeat it. So I like to do three rounds total. The simpler, the better. You don't need a ton of crazy variety here. Now something to consider as you're choosing how many reps you're doing, I recommend each week as you get better at exercises, add another rep or two, just to make sure that you are progressing because that's the way that you're gonna actually see change. And remember, your body is getting more efficient and better at these specific movements that you've chosen. So you've gotta keep advancing yourself so you don't plateau. Now let's start to choose some exercises. So we already started brainstorming a lot of these, but I'm gonna get really specific. So I'm gonna choose six exercises. My first exercise that I chose is gonna be a clamshell. And that's gonna work a lot of your glute need. After that, I'm gonna go into some hip thrust and that's gonna work more of the glute max. After that, I'm coming into lunges and then I'm gonna come down into some push-ups. After that, I'm gonna come into a heavy carry for my core and then I'm gonna round it out with some pull-ups or whatever I can do of pull-ups. Now, once I've got my basic exercises, I'm gonna ask myself, how can I make this functional? Because everything I just chose is pretty much in the sagittal plane. A little frontal. Maybe a little transverse. It's actually not that bad. But we're going to make it even more functional. Because remember, it's not just about planes of motion. We've got tempos. We've got pulling, pushing, unilateral, all that kind of stuff. So let's start with the clamshell. What plane of motion does this work in? Um, okay, I actually, I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is sagittal. But then like, you're like, opening? So is it transverse for the hip? I don't really know. Um, 
but regardless I don't really care because this is an activation exercise so this is something I'm doing to prime the muscle to make sure that when I get into my lunges I'm really using the back of my leg instead of the front because again I'm very quad dominant as far as the tempo we're gonna keep it slow and controlled I'm gonna make sure that I'm really squeezing the glutes together every time I open that leg up and then it is unilateral so we are working one side of the body and then the other which is a great way to expose any imbalances or weaknesses so that you can then correct them after that I had hip thrusts I'm gonna actually make these single leg again I really want to make sure I'm not relying on one side of my body I do know for a fact that my right side is like super messed up right now so I want to make sure that I'm not letting the left side overcompensate and then create even greater of a muscle imbalance this does work in the sagittal plane but again this is more of an activation exercise and it's not bad to work in the sagittal plane we just see so much of it so anytime that you can kind of change it up a lot of time it's really good. But again, this is an activation exercise just to make sure that I'm getting into my glutes and hamstrings. As far as the tempo, I'm gonna take an eccentric tempo here. So I've talked about that in this video right up here and like 10,000 others, but an eccentric tempo is kind of that four to one ratio. So in the hip thrust, I'm gonna go up for one, which is shortening the glutes, and then slow down for four, which is lengthening them. And then I'm probably gonna take in that last round, like a hold at the end, maybe little presses, just to really, really destroy them. And one more time, this is a unilateral exercise. And we're coming into lunges. There are 10,000 types of lunges that you can do. We're going to add in a lateral lunge because I haven't done any frontal plane yet. So that frontal plane is the working side to side. Now on top of that, remember I do want to work core stability. And a lot of what I'm doing is dancing, working on one leg and then the other. So I want to make sure that my ankles are really strong too. So I'm going to do a lateral lunge into a cross body balance. This is also going to help me activate the oblique chain as I bring that leg across the body and I'm working anti-rotation, keeping the hips in one position. So this is what I was talking about in the beginning, adding in compound movements to make sure that we're hitting like as many things as possible. The tempo here is just going to be moderate, not too slow, not too fast, just really working on making sure that I'm activating the back of the leg. And again, in that last work set, I'll probably add a hold, some little presses just to really destroy it. Then we're coming into push-ups. Push-ups don't really relate to any of the goals that I have, but I think that push-ups are one of the best exercises you can do, especially especially if you're looking to define your arms. Push-ups will change what your arms look like. So I just like adding them in. It also is a great core stability exercise. Now, as I'm looking through, I don't have anything in this transverse plane yet, and I'm not really seeing looking forward like how I would add it in. So we're gonna do a push-up with a kick through. So getting that transverse twist to make sure that I'm not just training my core to work in that anti-rotation. I still wanna work in that rotation as well because so much of what I'm doing dancing is, Oh, is rough guys. Now we're gonna do these as fast as I can control. This is not how you need to perform these, but again, I'm looking at my programming and I don't have anything working that fast twitch muscle fiber yet. So I'm gonna do these fast and explosive with good form. And then I'll probably like add a hold at the end, hold the plank or hold it halfway down. Again, that last round, you just wanna make sure that you are like, done. Then coming into my heavy carry, I've been all about the suitcase carry. I think it's because I have this 25 pound dumbbell and it gets the job done. Something that I'm gonna try and incorporate is not only walking front to back, but I'm gonna try and walk side to side as well so I can get in the sagittal and the frontal plane. This is a great one for that anti-rotation and that anti-lateral um, flexion or extension, I guess, depending on what side you're talking about. So it's very, very functional. Imagine like you're carrying a bag of groceries. This is you trying not to let it kind of take over. You're working against that force of gravity. Tempo here is slow. You wanna make sure that you're working with a lot of control. It is a compound movement because you're also gonna get that shoulder, that lat is gonna activate on that side and it's unilateral. And then finally, we have the pull-ups, our tempo here. So here's what I've been doing. I don't trust my pull-up bar to use a long band and like put my foot in it and then pull myself up. And I just feel like it's gonna collapse and like destroy the apartment. So what I'm doing instead, I'm putting a box underneath and then I'm pressing myself up, holding, and then slowly working down. And that's working eccentrically. So you're quickly, not that I'm doing it myself, but you're quickly shortening the lats and then slowly lengthening them. And it has been very effective. I have to say. Now, big thing that I get asked all the time, what if I pick the wrong exercises? And guys, I totally understand this because when I first 
started personal training people, this was my same thing. I was like, what if I pick the wrong thing? What if I don't do it right? There's no right or wrong answer, all right? It just think so simple. If you want to build your glutes, what is a glute exercise that you can do? It doesn't need to be that hard. Now, I'm not saying that there is not a science to programming, but you know, if you're just trying to make your way through at-home workouts and figure out how to do some stuff for yourself, like there's really not going to be a wrong answer. That is what I have for you today. I hope that helps a little bit. Leave any and all comments or questions down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Come out, might just waste away, don't know